watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we're going to be taking a look at a Rough Rider review, this one in the Arctic Fox series. But before we get into that, let's give a big shout out to Tim over at Tim's School of Fish. Tim sent me a couple of stickers along. He just recently won a prize on our giveaway on Slippy and Thrifty Show. Uh, if you haven't checked out our show, it's at Sundays, 10.30 a.m. Central Time, 4.30 p.m. UK Time, every Sunday. But Tim has a fantastic YouTube channel, and he, originally the reason his name, or the name of the channel is called Tim's School of Fish is because he had fish in his classroom where he taught and talked about the fish and so forth, and he also liked fishing. Well, he's not doing that as much anymore. He, he's not teaching anymore. So now he's transitioning his channel over to traditional pocket knives, where he's doing reviews of that stuff. I think initially he liked modern knives, but now he's more into the traditional knives. Just recently did a bunch of Rough Rider reviews. So make sure you're going over there, subscribe, and checking out Tim's channel. All right, so let's get into the review. We've got the Arctic Fox logo here at the top with the RI spelling on Rough Rider. Beautiful uh, design of that Arctic Fox. And then the snow-covered mountains in the background. Again, that logo, and then the RR logo over here for Rough Rider. On the back, we've got the website information, and then on at the bottom here, we've got the slogan, Always High Quality Handmade Pocket Knives, our cancer warning, and of course, China, our country of origin. Inside, we have that magnetic style closed box with the felt line cutout and the RI spelling again on the logo at the top of the box bag that the knife came in. All right, so let's have a look at the knife itself. We've got a wonderful three and a three quarter inch Stockman, one of my favorite size Stockman from Rough Rider. It's probably my favorite normal style Stockman from them. Comes in this three and three quarter inch size. We've got the diagonal style bolsters, nickel silver with the single thread on either end, the pinch. So well designed bolsters. Really like that look for this knife. And it's sort of a tuxedo style design with the white and black, right? So you've got the white micarta handles and that wonderful black inlaid fox head shield. You've got really good transitions across the length of the handle. You know, the, the nickel silver pins that feel really good across here. Very nice and smooth. One thing I've noticed is if you look at this uh, show side, you'll have more of a plain layering uh, between the white and black micarta. It's very difficult to even make out the black, but if you look at the back, there seems to be more of that layering going on there. Now, I think that was an intentional thing because every knife that I've bought has been that way where you have a bit more of a, an appearance on the back of the knife than you do the front. So maybe they've designed it in such a way that it's not as prominent on the, the front as it is the back. Interesting design choice, although I really like that, and it still looks really good. Now, you've also got those black underliners beneath the handles here. Of course, they run the length on either side, and then just down here on the diagonals, you can make out the underliner here and here. But that sets off that white a lot. Just really like the way that they've designed this. I have a hard time deciding whether or not I like this Arctic Fox series more than I like the Red Fox series. I think those are my two favorite the desert fox may be kind of trailing behind just slightly but overall like all three series of knives they've all been really well made i think they've done a fantastic job with the fit and finish and all those series of knives you can see this has little to no gapping i'm really i'm really having a difficult time pointing anything out to you guys here and it just looks super solid so they've done a fantastic job there we've got the brass liners and of course the stainless springs now this series comes with 440A stainless steel, and we'll get into those blades now. So we've got a satin finish clip point blade as our main blade, as you'd expect from a stockman. You can see the uh, blade edge, very, very well evenly ground. That satin finish with that hollow grind, matte strike pull, and then some pretty prominent swedging there, which I could do without, honestly. I wish they would just kind of get away from that. It's just too much. Just kind of tone it down a little bit. It's about time. All right, so there's a look at the blade stock and the profile there. I think everybody kind of gets a good idea of what that's all about. Let's look at the blade edge on this side. 
pretty consistent, I'd say. It's really uh, maybe just a little heavy at the tip there on this side. Not too bad, though. I think overall it's pretty darn even, and it does feel quite sharp. Got a nice point to it. All right, so on our main side, we've got the RR tank stamp there. Let's see if we can get a better look. There we go. And then the RI spelling on the font below it. On the reverse side, we've got our model number there. Again, the RR2311 with China. And then it designates it on here with the etch to say 440 razor sharp steel. So this is 440A stainless. And I like the way they've done that satin grind on there. It feels really good. Very nice and smooth. Half stops on this one. And I'd say that main blade is about a six and a half pull. Has a pretty good lockup. Pretty affirmative on the, the open. And good snap on the close. So happy with that uh, walk and talk on the main blade. So let's take a measure of that. And we've got a three inch total length to the tang, which, which make it UK legal. And then about a two and five eighths inch cutting edge, just over that two and a half inch mark there. So yeah, really nice main blade, that clip point, very good shape. And again, walk and talk is fantastic. All right, so let's look at the first secondary blade, which we're going to look at is the Spey. Again, that satin finish and the match strike pull. There's a look at your RR tank stamp on this one. Our blade grind, pretty even. That looks really good. Really well done there. Match strike pull. Again, you can just kind of make that out. And like I said, the RI tank stamp with that font below it. If we look at this side, really good blade. Yeah, they've done a really nice job on that one. Pretty darn even. Kind of even a little bit of a point there, so it's not completely uh, in incapable or incapable of doing some puncturing if you want to. And there's a look at the uh, the grind on that. They didn't get carried away with the swedge on this one. This is sort of a little bit of an angular shape to it, which is good. So yeah, I'm glad they didn't get carried away with any of that. A little less uh, pronounced uh, snap to the 90 position from the open position, but pretty decent uh, snap on the close. And I'd say the pull on that's a little lighter than the main blade, probably around a six, but I can definitely do with it. So we got a total length on this blade at right at two inches and then a cutting edge. Um, whew, just shy of one and three quarter, we'll call that yeah, we'll just call it one and three quarter because it's about a sixteenth short of that. But yeah, about a six on the pole. All right, so let's look at our final blade, which is this sheep's foot blade. Good snap to the half position. And a little bit light. I'd say this one's probably about a five and a half. It doesn't have quite that authoritative lockup on the full open position. So five and a half for the sheep's foot, about a six for the spay, and I'd say right at a seven for the main blade. But again, the satin finish grind, there's quite a, a pronounced swedge on this one. And also a little bit of a cant downward, which they've changed that a little bit from some of the other previous designs, which are a little more straightward. But a little more cant to each of the blades on this particular stockman. There's a look at your blade edge. That looks to be pretty straight. Not too heavy. Again, your RR tank stamp, RI spelling, match strike pull. There's a look at the profile here. With that swedge. And I can see that's plain on the opposite side of the tang. Nothing there. But again, they've done a really good job on the grinds for these. Pretty satisfied with that. Nice tip on it. Feels very sharp. Uh, just a little bit light on the pull. A five and a half. But it's not going to be as big a deal with the smaller blade. You get the four full finger grip there on this knife, no problem. I even have a little extra if you grip up here uh, in the normal position. Definitely have four fingers there. Perfect size for me, three and three quarters, like right at that perfect size closed length or handle length. So, yeah, that fits really well in my hand. 
And I think that, you know, you can choke up even with a little bit of a weaker pull on that uh, sheep's foot play with no problem. So, yeah, no issue there. No real hot spots. I mean, you do feel that main blade a little bit right in that area where the peak is. But you really do need to grip down for it to become uncomfortable. So, just changing the position of your hand slightly can prevent any kind of a uncomfortability kind of between your knuckles there just shifting your fingers kind of up and down the spine of it until you get it in the right position so no problem there so overall really like the DeSockman design always been a favorite of mine with this particular size and specifically and this series I think is just fantastically built I've been happy with all the Fox knives so this again will get a recommendation for me and uh, I'll continue to buy these larger stockments from Rough Riders if I like the design of them. But that's going to do it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks again to Tim over at Tim's School of Fish for sending these stickers along. And I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>